There's no one that hasn't heard of RMS Titanic. The legend says that it was unsinkable, the biggest, the most luxurious ship in the world that nevertheless sank. And this is real, causing the death of more than 1,500 people. There was a rumour saying that a cursed Egyptian mummy on board was the reason the ship sank. The cursed mummy went by the name of Princess Amun Ra, aka Shipwrecker. Another myth described that one of the workers painted We Defy God to Sink Her on the stern of the ship. But legends around Titanic are countless. The most popular one is a theory that claims that the sinking of Titanic was in fact part of a huge insurance scam. Most people don't know that Titanic had two nearly identical sisters, Olympic and Britannic. According to this theory, the ship's operator and owner, White Star Line, tried to use the extreme similarity of Titanic and Olympic to fool the world, fool the passengers, fool the insurance company to claim a large sum of money. But is this even possible? Take a look. If you examine this footage from the British Pathé archive, you'll think you're looking at Titanic. This footage has been used in countless films and documentaries which claim it to be of the legendary ship. But this is actually her older sister, Olympic, whose maiden voyage was in 1911 one year before Titanic's. The fact that this footage has been used to represent Titanic shows you how similar these two ships were. So the plan was to swap Titanic with Olympic. Passengers wouldn't have noticed that they were travelling on the sister. Switch the nameplate from Olympic to Titanic, get everyone aboard, make it appear as if the ship has accidentally hit an iceberg, and get everyone off the ship onto a passing vessel, the SS Californian, and then claim the insurance money without losing any lives. But what would have made White Star Line so desperate for money that they would have created such an intricate and fraudulent plan? Apparently, Olympic was not proving to be the cash cow ship of dreams she was meant to be. From the very start she had electrical problems and not long after her maiden voyage she had a serious collision with the Royal Navy ship HMS Hawk. The damage caused by the incident was far more severe than White Star let on and cost a great deal of money to repair. And because White Star Line's insurance policy didn't cover this eventuality, the costs were all borne by White Star. So the only way the company could make any more money out of Olympic was to sink her, having first changed her name to Titanic, which was heavily insured. So Titanic could thereafter be passed off as Olympic and carry passengers to and fro across the Atlantic without any technical problems and a great profit for decades to come. The Olympic, or possibly Titanic, would continue operating for a further 23 years before eventually being scrapped in 1935. Unfortunately, it seems that nothing went according to that plan because 1,500 people lost their lives when the Californian failed to respond to Titanic's distress signals and the White Star Line ended up paying out millions in compensation claims. But do we know this for a fact? Is this theory a real possibility? Is there enough evidence to dismantle it? Which ship is the one resting at the bottom of the sea? Titanic's legend will be very hard to forget, and the question remains, what do you think?